Hello from beautiful Maui. We are here at Snapdragon Summit and I'm here with Deb Marich, who is the VP of Snapdragon Marketing. Thank you for being here with me today talking about something that I think is top of mind for everyone and it's about AI and how AI in a mobile phone, which for me is where really the value comes real to so many consumers across the world is going to impact us from a societal perspective. So I was curious what excites you about AI in your pocket to really make a difference to society in a positive way. Absolutely. Well, thank you for having me. Um, and yes, it is a beautiful day, so that makes everything uh, worth it. So from my perspective, if I think about AI in a smartphone, it's really revolutionizing how we not only interact with our devices, but also with each other. And it's a really exciting time to be thinking about how can that bring positive advancements to society. So when I look at it, I think about a couple of different things. Maybe I'll give you a few little examples. Yes, please. Um, if I think about healthcare, we can now have remote doctor's visits and we can um, have health monitoring that goes directly to your doctor. These are advancements that make technology accessible for everybody, people who maybe can't get out of their home. If we think about um, voice assistants, now we're helping people to talk to their device instead of having to get in there and figure it all out, they can talk to their device and get done something that they need to do. So really, you know, from a, from a social perspective, society is advancing with this AI in ways that make things more convenient for us, that do mundane tasks. Yes. It's making it more accessible to everybody. And I think it's really giving us connectivity. Um, and con the connectivity can come through things like language. So now you can do real-time translation. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we all remember traveling. You have your book, you're trying to do the translation because you only speak a little bit of the language. But that's opening up a whole new world to us to reach people that we don't know, maybe old family members that don't speak the same language, or just for us to travel and have exciting new times and get our hotel and talk to the to the cab driver. So that's what it's doing for us today. But what I really am excited about is where it's going for tomorrow. If you think about all the apps you have to download, it is a lot. And AI, our AI orchestrator as an example, um, we're bringing all that together so that there won't have to be apps. Mm -hmm. Your AI assistant will know what you're trying to do. Are you trying to go retail shopping? Are you trying to do your banking? Are you trying to hail a cab? So you won't have to have 100 apps and go searching through them to get things done. Your AI assistant will be personalized to you because of Snapdragon on-device AI. I think that's one of the big takeaways from the keynote this morning from Cristiano was there's no killer app that really is gonna bring to life AI, especially generative AI on-device is really about the interaction between human and devices that is changing. And I totally agree with you. Um, and maybe it's just me, but one thing that from a societal perspective we all benefit from, in my view, is the fact that AI is gonna let us get away from our screen without lessening our value, right? So we're still gonna be connected to our phone and getting as much value, if not more, but I'm not necessarily going to be glued to the screen because yes. of the different interactions that AI brings. Absolutely, I fully agree. I have a question for you, um, and it's really about today, obviously the news is about Snapdragon 8 Elite, which is your best of the best, but you have a richness in the portfolio that is going to bring AI to all different price points, and really that to me is the beauty of what's uh, Qualcomm has done always very well, which is really, you know, changing the world and connecting as many people as possible. So talk to me about a little bit about that, the richness of a portfolio and really generative AI only coming to life if we really reach as many people as possible. Absolutely. I One of the reasons I love working at Qualcomm and working on Snapdragon product marketing is because we not only lead in the advanced technology, we want to lead that industry forward and make sure that we're putting out the best of the best, but we also want to leave no one behind. Yes. And so I think you know it takes like three years of research and development, technology advancements for us to just launch the one chip we launched today. Um, but what's really important is that we take those learnings 
and we waterfall them down our roadmap um, for tiers. So we have a high tier where we take those select advanced features and we make sure that people who don't need all the bells and whistles yes. can have those same amazing experiences. And we have a mid-tier uh, for anybody who's just not quite as interested in smartphones, but they need their device to get around day to day. And then last, we have this entry tier. And we want everybody to have the best in class Snapdragon experience, which is delivering that best in class performance and long battery life and amazing AI. So throughout our entire roadmap, we've been doing AI for like 10 years. So you're gonna see it funnel through our whole roadmap while we're leading those advancements. We wanna make sure everybody's getting a good experience. And what I like about the approach as well is not about stripping down a processor to make it at the right price point. You actually are designing for the price point in order to deliver the best for that consumer that like you said, is not needing all the bells and whistles. I think that is a great way to put how we look at our target audiences. So when we talk with our OEMs, we say, okay, what does this audience do day to day and how are they most gonna use their phone? And everybody's different. Yes. And so we need to make different price points, different features um, that are advanced, all to make sure that each consumer gets what they need and gets the best in class of what they wanna do. Yeah, consumers. We all talking about AI and you and I are in the industry and so we know what we're talking about. Well, I, most of the time for me, all the time <laughs> for you. But if you had to give me an elevator pitch as far as selling AI today and say two years down the line, what would that pitch be? So I, I love this question because I think uh, I read a stat that about 88% of people don't know they're using AI today. So we talked about this just a little bit in that AI is pervasive today in your photography, in your gaming, in your calendar connectivity, and all these things that are making the world more accessible and making some of those mundane tasks just easier and more intuitive. And our Snapdragon on-device AI really delivers that for people. It's on the device, it's taking all of your personal information and it's making your life easier or more accessible or more connected. And so when I wanna say, what is my elevator pitch? It's you're using it today and it's only gonna get better. I think that sums it up. And <laughs> I am very appreciative of your time today. Mahalo. Mahalo. And uh, two more days of news That's and exciting right. demos right. as well. Thank you so much. Steph. Thank you for having me.